everyone, it's Gina and we are back with another video. So these plants came in a lot earlier than I thought. I have another plant that will be in another video, but this one is called the Gatsby Moon Hydrangea. So I ordered this just a couple weeks ago and it already came in. I am so excited to plant this. This is hardy in zones five through nine. So it is perfect for my zone, but it will need a little more shade just because our area is a little hotter. So let me take you guys where we're gonna go plant it. All right, you guys, so we are in the spot where I'm going to plant the Gatsby Moon Hydrangea. So I actually had to film this a little bit later in the day because um, we have our gardener here earlier and he was taking out that Brazilian pepper tree. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but it is a pain in the butt and it sent so many suckers up through the, through the soil and I just could not get a hold of it. So he, um, he was able to take care of it got the roots out it looks great that'll be for another time but anyways I digress there's my Gatsby moon right here it's wilting a little bit that's what I was getting to like I, I had to plant it a little later but it's going behind this boba hydrangea so I'm eventually gonna add two I'm actually adding another one today as well but that will be in the next video so stay tuned um, but the Gatsby moon gets to be about six feet by six feet tall and wide it might get a little bigger here because it gets Sun but it should do really well. So without further ado, let's get planting. Well, that's really unfortunate, but it looks like this spot will not work for my hydrangea. Um, I have a crepe myrtle right here and its roots are right here. And these are just too big. I tried to slice through one of them and it worked, but I don't really want to mess with it. So I think what I'm going to do then instead is I'm going to put it back here. Now I planted this pasta. Um, a few weeks ago, it's not doing well. It's getting too much sun. So I think this hydrangea will be able to handle the heat right here. So I'm gonna try and plant it here instead. So without further ado, let's move this guy over here. That was a lot easier to dig than the other spot. This should be pretty good. It's gonna definitely be shaded by this bottle brush tree. And the hosta is pretty close to it, but if anything, it's gonna give that hosta a little more shade, which will be good. So the last step is drip irrigation. hydrangea is all planted it should perk up tonight when it gets its first watering but what I did is I did a two gallon per hour emitter and it's gonna run twice a day for about 20 minutes that's what I do for like all of my plants in this area and it'll get shade most of the day until about now it'll get dappled Sun and then it'll get a little bit of very very late like sun setting Sun so it should do really well here just like my other oak leaf 
Uh, that's another thing. So this is an oak leaf hydrangea. This is one that you're not gonna wanna prune. And if you have to, you're gonna wanna do it immediately after it blooms because these bloom on old wood. So it looks really good and I can't wait for it to fill in this space. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. And be sure to tap that bell notification so you're notified of when I post my latest videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.